United we stand, and divided we fall. We live in a world of narcissists. When you look at the governor of California sitting down, eating dinner with his family indoors, no masks, and sitting next to the campaign contributors who are bringing this medical tyranny to the world that we live in, in order for these narcissists to fulfill their narcissism. You know, Cuomo, do I even need to say anything? Pelosi getting a haircut when nobody else could without a mask? The hypocrisy just screams of how violently their narcissism has reigned over the masses. They have not one concern. And, they, and, and the people that are pointing the fingers at him are looking to Trump. I mean, Rumpface is not the most narcissistic person that we could have ever endeavored into an office of such high stature. They're all the fucking same. And they're doing everything in their power to bring this medical quote-unquote tyranny over us in order for us to uh, reevaluate what justice is. Because no longer is justice something that's a fact, it's an emotional ploy pulling on your heartstrings to tell you what's in your best interest while completely ignoring how your family, your friends, the people standing at the taco shop next to you think of you? How can it be that people right next to you in real life can be so bad because they follow some leader, some media news organization, some talking point? I'm in crypto because... I believe that the participation in immutable transparency is something that will make us stand together, united as a, as a, like, there's only one race, the human race. And for us to sit here and talk about racism in the ways that we do and how I'm racist because of my gender and my color, my pigment and my skin, automatically it makes me a, like, Racism is a disgusting way to describe groups of people. It's really disgusting when the individual is the one that we should be judging, not what they associate with. You know, this video has been motivated on behalf of, like, uh, Sonny, the guy who claims to be a Pendu. Now, like, I'm, I'm... I consider myself 10 times a pen to as him in consideration of how much labor I put into my life and how much contribution I make towards those around me, you know, and my physical stature. Granted, I am 6'1". I weigh 220, 215, 210 on a good month. Um, you know, I've taken down two guys at once and the bigger guy I had under my knee ready to pull his eyeballs out. And I've also been taken down by a very small man very quickly. I'm not afraid. Please. I look forward to the day, Sonny. I look forward to the day you put your fist across my face. I really do. I really, really do. It's all about what we're made of. And the world we live in now is rewarding nepotism and narcissism more than at any other time, more than at any other time in my life. And it's, it's not going to change. I mean... Uh, you know, I do believe in crypto, but I also know that it's fucking all speculation. And all it does is propagate the same paradigm that I'm rallying against. But considering the paradigm that we're in, with stocks doing what they're doing, with banks fucking getting bailed out for complete and utter crony crime, cronyism, crime at the highest level, theft at the highest level, they're being rewarded for this, while students who do what they said they were, do, do students that are working towards making the world a better place and their, their lives better, they're being subjected to serfdom. Because they can't get a bailout, but the biggest criminals on the planet can. You know, and I think crypto is still a means by which to remedy that and, and bring what I'm looking for in this world. I'm looking for people to stand united what are we all united on? Because if we can't figure that, we will fall divided, just like it's happening right now. And they've only poured the kerosene on and they're standing there with the match right now. Waiting to burn it all down in order to fulfill, in order to fulfill the narcissism that they thrive off of.
United we stand, divided we fall.